Welcome to another episode. Thank you guys for tuning in and clicking that play button. This is the first segment of this season. Little closer look at our gladiators and how they're doing. The date on the sim calendar is July the 5th. I am recording this late after all the sims on a Wednesday night. Next segment we'll probably do in a Friday afternoon and then right on to the playoffs. Let's find out how the gladiators are doing. What is their record? Hey, look at that. We're creeping up 39 and 41, getting close to 500, much better than we were before. In terms of the basic player stats, we have Nolan Ryan second in strikeouts. And team stats, nothing to show for that. But again, it's a little bit better than we were last time. I'll take it. Player stats. How are we doing? Sid Fernandez. He is the one change I made off screen. Completed a mission. Got Sid Fernandez. Put him in the lineup. Average is okay. He's ERA. But wins not being reflected. Mark Pryor, let's move you up one spot. Nolan Ryan, R.A. Dickey, eh, average. I expect better out of you in gold. And our bullpen, Zach Britton, finally is starting to come around. Under 5 ERA, 16 saves. Tim Lincecum doing well as our fifth starter. And A.J. Minter, a guy that I brought in because he hit 100 Last week on Perfect Live, he is the only live guy I kind of trust in the lineup right now. And he's got our best ERA in our bullpen with a 2.00 ERA. So he's a guy you might want to consider picking up for just over 20,000 perfect points and putting in your lineup. Looks like he can play there. Hitters, let's see how they're doing. Should we shame anyone? Maybe Joe Sewell. Hitting 214. Let me know. Who should I replace him with? Who is a solid shortstop at the gold or diamond level? I thought he'd be able to do it, but he's had a couple rough seasons. Uh, our other shortstop, Dave Concepcion, hitting 311. He's doing really well. And Hank Aaron, of course, is Hank Aaron. 316, Fred Carroll. He's performing well as our starting catcher. And defensively, he's not hurting us too bad. He's got a little bit of a negative war. But again, I could pay up for the higher end catchers. But I'm happy with the offense that he's putting up. Whereas a Mike Piazza might have the offense, but he's a defensive liability. So Carroll's a good mix between the two. Shoeless Joe hitting 284. Stolen base-wise, we don't have anyone in the double digits, so we're not stealing a lot of bases. As you can see from the strategy, I've got that toned down, and it does seem to be helping us win a few more games. All right, guys, the only thing I want to do is open up five packs. Can you bring the pack luck today? Come on, it's been a while since we hit all oh, <laughs> There we go. We got an air horn right off the bat. It is a live Ronald Acuna Jr. Who may go back up to a perfect. So we'll hang on to him just in case next month he hits that 100. And that would be 20,000 perfect points. The rest is bonus. The rest is... We'll take it. Cal Ripken, 63, build a lineup. Can sell him. What's he selling for in the card shop right now? About 100 perfect points. Excellent. Two good cards, two packs, three more to go. Yeah, we're going to get one with all live here. But hey, it's been successful so far getting that one diamond. One more pack to open up. I'm going to call a 68 live bronze as the highest one. Be nice to get a platinum. Nope. 67 live so i was close nothing that i was hoping to get on that last pack so we're going to leave it there and again we will check back in friday 
close to playoff day. And we'll see if the Gladiators can get above 500. See you in a few moments. Just before we head out for this segment, wanted to kind of let you know I do have a couple orders in on the card shop. I am kind of keeping my eyes on a couple guys and two that I think will help our team. Reliever Tom Gordon, he seems to be a really solid closer. Zach Britton is, is good, but Tom Gordon would be a huge upgrade. So I do have a buy order for 77000 on him. We'll see if we can get him by the next segment. And George Sisler. I almost want to pay up to get him, but he's still a little pricey. If you have the perfect points and you need a really solid first baseman, I'd recommend George Sisler. If we look at our league, and let's look at the combined stats right here. Do we see any Sislers? Yeah, we see one. In terms of at-bats, we've got one with 60 or second in run scored. Doubles, we've got a couple Sislers there. So this Platinum seems to be, again, a really good offensive first baseman if you're looking to pick one up. All right, back in a few moments. Here we go with the next segment. It is Friday, late afternoon. Let's check out our gladiators. Have they improved? Have the tweaks changed the fate of this gold 303 team? Let's find out together. The gladiators are... Whoa! Am I seeing that right? Are we in an alternate universe? Are we actually nine games above 500? We are. Hey, that deserves a snaggle air horn. Yeah, we are 65 and 56. We are five games back of Sacramento, eight and two in our last 10 games. And in the wild card race, we should be in a wild card position, I think. Half a game out of a wild card position. Wow. We have made some jumps in this last set of Sims. So we've got about, where are we at here? About 50 games left in the season. So finishing off today and tomorrow Sims, and we will find out. In the combined leaderboard, our Mark Pryor is third in wins, actually tied for second. He is third in strikeouts, our Nolan Ryan. And our Mark Pryor is first again in the league in war. That's quite the accomplishment. I am happy with that. In terms of our recent transactions, let's take a look at that. I have put a bid in again for Platinum Series George Sisler. He is a stud, at least at gold from what I've seen him below. So I'm hoping to get him for about 41000 and yesterday, I did pick up Tom Gordon. My buy order was filled and picked him up. So he is now in our bullpen. So let's take a look at our lineup. There we go. Almost all our pictures, pitchers now are 500 or better. And our bullpen is looking really good, including the addition of Tom Gordon, who's under a one ERA, and already has three saves. So I did move uh, Zach Britton down to a middle relief role. Might be a little better suited for him. And uh, everyone else is kind of in the roles that they were in before. I did get a comment from a uh, fan of the channel that asked about slumps and what you can do about slumps. As I responded back, I don't think there is one direct answer. But over the years of playing this game, one thing that I have found that has worked for me is if you move players around a little bit in the lineup, and if they're in a deep slump, if you bench them for two or three days, that seems to help, at least in my case. 
So Mark Pryor, I had down in the lineup. If you watch the earlier editions of this season, from the first segment, I believe, Mark Pryor was further down. And I had Sid Fernandez further up. Well, Sid Fernandez was pitching awful. So I moved him down, and I moved Mark Pryor up. And it helped both of them. Now they're both above 500. And Nolan Ryan, I moved up, I think, from the number four slot to the number two slot. So sometimes just moving players around in their role can make a big difference. Same thing with the batters. Joe Sewell was under 200 in terms of his average. So I benched him. I took him out of the right-handed lineup, put Concepcion in there, and he's raised his average as a pinch hitter. So that's, that's awesome news. Mel Ott raised his average from a low 150 up to a 210, which still isn't the best, but it is for Mel. I'm happy with that with Mel because he's pounding in 17 home runs. Just simply by moving down or moving up in the lineup, maybe, you know, in this digital world, it makes that player happy. I don't know. Or maybe it ticks them off so much that when you do put them back in, they play a little bit better. Or maybe it's just all random. I like to think that my moves are affecting getting out of slumps. So try those things out if your players are in a slump. Generally, all your players won't be in a slump. If someone's really hot, don't move them around. Don't say, well, I'm gonna try and get this guy going again, and then you move them into the hot guy spot, and then they both suffer. No, if a guy's playing well, keep him in that role. So right now, Mark Pryor and Nolan Ryan are leading in a couple categories. I'm not moving them. If they go into a slump, yeah, then I'll move them around a little bit. So that's where we are right now. If we look at the expanded standings and the combined, the entire gold 303, we can see our Hank Aaron is fourth in slugging percentage. Other than that, he is fourth fifth in on base and slugging percentage so Aaron is gonna hank he is gonna do what he always does all the way up to diamond streak wise uh we have any players on streaks it doesn't yeah Mark Pryor had a 13 game undefeated streak Ari Dickey on the other hand an eight game losing streak and Dave LaRoche a 12 game shutdown streak Remember I mentioned him a long time ago, that he's a player that you don't notice him much, but he does the job. I'd go out and get yourself a Dave LaRoche for your bullpen. One of my episodes, I think it was episode maybe 12, 13, was a Dave LaRoche spotlight as well. You might want to go and watch that if you haven't already. In terms of our pitching leaders, again, some of our pitchers, Mark Pryor at the top in a couple categories, Ari Dickey, Nolan Ryan. These are guys that tend to do well. They're not your A-tier pitchers. They're not going to get you far in perfect lead or maybe even diamond. You're going to need your win. You're going to need your uh, Cooper. You're going to need a guy like Mark, uh, maybe not Martinez, Ames, Red Ames, Walter Johnson. You know, those are the guys that are going to do well at the highest level. But your Pryor, your Dickey, your Nolan Ryan, sometimes a shilling, those guys will perform okay, at least up to the gold level, and some of them even at the diamond level. So that's where we are, heading into last day Saturday of Sims. Again, I will record a segment on Saturday, and then of course our playoff Sim on Sunday, before that's, this gets posted up late Sunday or early Monday. As always, let's open some packs. Last night, new players were added to packs. It was the Brooke Robinson Complete Perfect Mission. So if you are collecting the Brooke Robinson, he has now a perfect card. It looks really good, really expensive on the card shop. I think 300,000 perfect points one was selling for. But there are some other players in the packs as well. 
Let's see if we can grab a couple of those or a couple more platinum cards. Also, this weekend, next couple days, OOTP is having their sale on again. They are putting perfect packs back up. 60,000 points, diamond packs, historical packs, plus the game itself. If you're new and you don't own the game, maybe you're playing OOTP 22. Now is the time to buy the 23 version. It's 50% off. You can get it for $19.99 American. Typically, it won't go any lower until maybe Black Friday in November. So if you're looking to get it, you might not have another chance until November. And then sometimes around late December, January, it goes even lower to $9.99 American. But you don't want to wait that long. Get it now if you don't own it. Now's the perfect time to upgrade because it's half off. All right, let's open our standard. What do we want to do today? Uh, we'll see how things go. We'll see what kind of vibes you guys are giving off on these packs. Are you giving me a diamond? Are you get all I want guys is a platinum. Give me a platinum and you guys get off the hook. That that is that that that's platinum garbage. That is that is I don't even want to leave it on the screen anymore cuz that's just horrible. How about this one? Guys, hey. Hey, 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 hey. I know some of you have faithfully been watching this channel. Now's the time. It's the weekend. It's Friday. At least when I'm recording this. While well, you're giving me a couple historical there. But you've got about five more packs to give me okay. Thank you. Sorry I had to give you some tough love. It is a Clay Holmes. I like that card. I think he may go up to Diamond. He may even go up to Perfect by the end of the season. He's having a great year in New York. So thank you. That, that helps. That might get you off the hook. Depends what you give me. If you can give me at least one more gold or even a bronze platinum or better. Okay, that's, that's, you guys are off the hook. No time out this weekend. You gave me a Bryce Harper platinum. I don't own it yet. What's he selling for? I'm going to guess he's selling for about 3,000. Oh no, not that much. He's only selling for about a thousand perfect points. So we're going to keep them because after about two or three more weeks, they disappear from packs. All right, let's go two more packs unless we pull something really good. I'm going to call a 83 live. I'm going to call a gold live in the next two packs. Two more packs, gold live. Here it is. No. Three historicals. I like how you guys all gave them to me on the top row. Last pack, 83, live gold or better. What do we got? We got a 68 live bronze. I'm 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 going five more packs. It's it's the weekend. It's Friday. You guys have already made this pack opening worthwhile. Silver. Keep on plugging away few historical 74 silver and build the lineup probably going for about 300 no it's way down these build the lineup cards have dropped dramatically and you gave me a silver let's go here's the last one 83 gold or better or a platinum another build a lineup Wade Boggs. What are you selling for, Wade? Not much. All right, guys, that's the end of this segment. We will be back either late, yeah, probably we'll do a segment late Saturday. We'll see you in a few seconds. And back, this time, a bonus late Friday five pack opening. It's Friday night, gotta do something fun, right? Can't go out clubbing. Stay home and open some OOTP packs. And I did just post up a tutorial for the Ace of Iron tournaments. If you wanna earn some free packs like I do, all these packs that you see there were earned from tournaments and login bonus. 
you can go get your free packs. Check out the Ace of Iron tutorial posted earlier today. All right, let's do it. Five packs. I feel, I said, I got to go on, record five packs. I feel something special coming in these packs. Let's see. Here we go. Five packs. First one, we have a gold. Okay, good. It is already worth it. How about a platinum on a Friday? No, we got a live. I'm good. No matter what we get now, I'm good. It's not complete. And we got a platinum. All right. How much is the new Hauser selling for? Eh, not too much. But again, to my collection, in case there are missions later on. Next pack, we have... Wow, two good cards in two packs. Live silver, that's at least 100 points. Every pack has had something at least semi-valuable, except... Well, actually, no, Ozzy Smith, what is he selling for? Yeah, even he's selling for close to 100 perfect points, so I'll take that as a win. Last pack, Friday night. Friday's the fifth day of the week. Let's go for the fifth card being my highest card, a 70 silver. Let's see. We have a... <laughs> We'll see you guys in the next segment. Here we are again with another quick little segment here. It is Saturday late morning. It's about noonish Eastern Standard Time. And I uh, thought I'd pop in and do a quick little recap of where we are on the Saturday before the playoff day. Something I haven't done for a while is just kind of look at the highlights from one of the games. So let's let's do that. It's not just about statistics, but sometimes we have to take a look at how the gladiators look on the field. Our gladiators. I did put up the Ace of Iron tutorial on the channel as well so if you're looking to try and win some packs i suggest you check out that tutorial and put together an iron team to compete all right here we go we're up against letter kenny and it is hit deep it's deep it is gone no it is caught wow that was a close close run-in in the second inning. So the Gladiators have three hits in the second. We're moving on to the third inning. Hank Aaron at the plate, our Hank Aaron against Sid Fernandez. Here comes the pitch. Aaron hits it. Oh, this one is deep. It's going, it's going, it, it's gone. Hank Aaron, hammering Hank hits it out of the park. Look at him hustle around those base, path, base paths. Look at that gladiator uniform, the black pants, the gray uniform, and the ray, red hat. Yes, the gladiators get the early lead. Here we go. We're in the sixth inning now. Tito Francona at the plate for the gladiators. Here comes the pitch, and this one is hit deep to right field, and it is gone. Another solo jack in the gray and black pant red hat uniform. Tito Francona takes the Gladiators to a 2-0 lead. Bottom of the six, letter Kenny at the plate. Jimmy Fox against our Sid Fernandez. And he takes a walk. All right, the letter Kenny has something going on in the bottom of the sixth. Runner on first. Two balls, one strike to their Hank Aaron. Here comes the pitch. I don't like this. Oh, Hank Aaron, wow, hits into a double play. Gladiators get out of a jam in the sixth inning. Moving on to the seventh. Two balls, two strikes. Letter Kenny Mule Suddles at the plate. Sid Fernandez still on the mound for us. 
And here's the pitch, and it is a single to shallow right field. Again, Letter Kenny has something going on with two outs in the seventh. Pop Lloyd, this scares me. Pop Lloyd at the plate for Letter Kenny. Here's the pitch, and it is a single to left field. Two on, two out for Letter Kenny. Gabby Hartnett at the plate. Dave LaRoche coming in. I have faith in LaRoche. It's one of our, oh, oh. Whew. And that's hit to deep center. But the Gladiators get out of a jam. And it is 2-0 heading into, where are we going? The eighth inning. Full count. Nomar at the plate for the Gladiators. Ben Sheets on the mound for Letter Kenny. Here comes the pitch. And Nomar leads off with a single to left field. Okay, we need some insurance here. Oh, I guess we're down to the bottom of the eighth. Letter Kenny at bat. Jimmy Fox at the plate. Mariano Rivera walks. A rare walk by Rivera. Again, letter Kenny. I don't like the looks of this. Hank Aaron at the plate. They could tie it up. Rivera delivers and Hank Aaron down the line in right field. That's going to be at least a double. No, it is a triple by Hank Aaron. And he is out. Well, they did get a run. But Hank Aaron trying to stretch it to a triple. Doesn't make it. Two out. Doesn't look like anyone on. Shoeless Joe at the plate. Rivera still in for the Gladiators. Here's the pitch. And another walk by Rivera. Come on, coach. Time to take him out. Not doing too well. But they're keeping him in against Ted Williams. Full count. Two out. Letter Kenny down by one run. Rivera with the pitch and another walk. All right, time to pull him. Come on, coach. Enough's enough. This is getting way too close here. But they're keeping him in against the perfect Brooks Robinson. First time I've come up against him in a game. Two on, two out, bottom of the eighth. Here's the pitch. Come on, Ken Rivera. Yes striking out Robinson to end a tumultuous eighth inning and we head to the ninth Rocky Mountain up by one run Ross Barnes at the plate they have Clayton Kershaw on the mound one ball Barnes hits a single to right field we have runners at first and second nobody out now we have one out Runners at first, second, and third. Bases loaded for Nolan Arenado. Three balls. And he walks. Arenado, RBI, walk in the ninth. An insurance run. 3-1 Gladiators. Can breathe a little deeper now. As we take a little more comfortable lead over Letter Kenny. Next up, we have still one out, three balls, one strike. Fred Carroll at the plate. Clayton Kershaw still on the mound. Here comes the pitch. Come on, we need one. Oh, and it squeaks by Robinson at third. Usually a reliable third baseman. And that's going to drive in at least a couple. And Carroll is out. Oh, Carroll is safe at third. The Gladiators extend their lead to 6-1 to one. as we head to the bottom of the ninth. Two strikes, two out. Zach Wheeler in for the Gladiators. Gabby Hartnett at the plate. Here comes the pitch. And it's a, oh, it's a shallow hit. What a stabbing catch in right field. Wow, what a catch. In right field, and the Gladiators win the game 6-1. to one. It was a close, that eighth inning. Rivera got us out of the eighth. 
All right, just a fun little recap. One of the highlights of the games. Let's see where we're at on deadline Saturday. The Gladiators still above 500. Three games out of the Central Division lead. We've won our last two, but playoff, we are still half a game out of the wild card. So we are in contention. It's going to be an interesting day. Lineup wise, want to show you a couple little things I did to change the lineup around with our rotation. Kept it the same. Everyone above 500 still, except R.A. Dickey. And hitter wise, I did get guys, I did get my buy order fulfilled on George Sisler. Now here's the case of I, I had Jimmy Fox, I have Freddie Freeman, I have Jim Gentile. I had to make a decision who to send down and I sent down Jim Gentile. I like what Jimmy Fox provides with the home run power and I like Freddie Freeman's defense. So Gentile was the guy I chose to send down and we do have Sisler hitting second against lefties in the cleanup spot against the righties. He's only played one game so far. This is a new acquisition. One hit, one run, one RBI. We'll see how he continues in his path as a gladiator. I'm hoping he can make that difference to get us into the playoffs. Otherwise, Hank Aaron, we saw his bash in the highlights leading in war dave concepcion fred carroll ross barnes still having really good seasons mel ott where are you you picking it up 217 yeah that average is slowly going up and 22 home runs on the basic leaderboard mark Pryor second in wins in the entire league tied for first in war no one on the team leaderboard right now and because there are so many new cards in the system we're going to open five packs i'm hoping to get that gold mathewson looks like a really good gold pitching card saturday morning with the coffee a little bit of an energy boost what do you guys got for me three more packs we get a silver nothing to show there all iron that's the dead pack hopefully for this pull two more packs to go and we got a gold okay it's worthwhile give me that matheson where's that platinum no it is a live anthony bass last pull third cards gonna be a 68 bronze to end off the pack pull for this segment nope we get a couple 65 i'm okay we got a gold i'm great with that that's at least 1,000 perfect points. We will see in the next segment if the Gladiators made the playoffs. Hang in there, guys. I think we're going to do it. I think we're going to pull through. Welcome back. Last segment before this video is uploaded. So if you're watching this, it's probably Sunday. Or if you're watching this late, it's probably Monday or Tuesday. Or who knows, you might be watching this in November. I don't know when you tuned in. But this is going to be the last segment. It's a long enough video already, so we're not going to go through the playoffs in this video. We will do it in the next one. But I didn't want to leave you on a cliffhanger. I wanted you to experience with me the finish to the Gladiator season. We'll take a look at the record and then on the way out the door, we'll open up a few packs as the music rolls and the last slide show. Let's check it out. Are the gladiators in the gold playoffs? And there we are. We made it into the gold playoffs. Wow after the start to the season we had, but we tweaked the team, we made a few changes, 
and look at that. Let's look at the standings this way. We are the last wild card team to make it, and we made it by three games. So it didn't come down to the very last game, but we made it in. Yes. So we will have in game one tomorrow of the playoffs, Mark Pryor is going to be our starter. Nolan Ryan would get game two. And if it goes to a game three, we have R.A. Dickey. Zach Wheeler, you're going back to the bullpen. I put him in for the end of the season because I wanted to make sure my starters were rested. He's going back to a middle relief and set up roll. We will click Submit. Want to make sure they're back in their proper positions because, hey, that may make a difference in terms of how this game plays out. There we go. We're ready. We're in the playoffs, guys. The Gladiators back in the gold 303 playoffs. Let's play some music on the way out. We'll open five packs. Maybe we can get an all-star to join our lineup for the playoffs. Have a wonderful day. It is a great day for baseball. Look, we got a gold. Are you in the playoffs? Leave a comment. Vasquez, decent gold, but I'd rather have a platinum. We'll see you guys in the next episode playoff episode gladiators <laughs>